Hello from the Sanctuary of the North Hills Community Baptist Church. We are sharing with you again the joys and concerns and the prayers from our worship service on April 19th. Cindy, also known as Nora's grandma, had a birthday on Thursday. She is a joy. From Felicia, two years ago on this same date, the 19th of April, many families lost their children during the political unrest in Nicaragua. So we pray for those families and we pray for friends who had to leave the country as a result of political persecution. And finally, we continue to pray for justice and peace for the nation of Nicaragua. Lord, I need you. request for Joanne's friend Brett who is in the hospital receiving chemo and radiation treatment for his stage 3 oral cancer and a prayer for a smooth move and a settling into new home for Sherry Tara has her last chemo treatment on the 21st, and then she'll have a scan to see if the tumor has shrunk at all. Prayer for her anxiety and depression to be less than it's been. And also a big thank you for my church family for sending cards, music, emails, calls to make sure we're okay. We bless our church family. And a friend of Danielle's who fostered just took in before Easter a baby abandoned at the hospital that was born drug addicted. The biological parents are back in the picture and are taking her, baby Maggie, home. So please pray for all the parties involved here. Lord, I need Pray for Mary's cousin who is in the hospital with COVID-19, Yvonne whose husband died for us for, from it. Please pray for those families. And our neighbor Luella had her breast cancer surgery the day after Easter, well ahead of the scheduled May 18th date. The doctors believe they got all the cancer. She will begin radiation soon and she continues to thank you for your prayers and pray for her continued successful treatment. asking prayers for David, her brother. He has tested positive for COVID-19. He says he doesn't feel that bad. It sounds as if it's a bit fluish. But thank you for your prayers for him. Lord, 